Jordan, CEO and co-founder of New Belgium Brewing Company in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, at New Belgium, we say that our purpose is to operate a profitable brewery which makes our love and talent manifest. New Belgium was started in 1991 by my then husband Jeff Liebisch and me in the basement of our house. It's really one of those kind of crazy American success stories. Um, we took out uh, lines of credits from credit card companies. We took out a second mortgage on our house. And uh, we started this dream of being craft brewers. Um, about 14 months later, we had more beer than furniture in our house and we were kind of bursting at the seams. So we decided we'd move to our second location which is just down the street from where we currently are. We were there for three years. We're pretty sure that we produced more beer per square inch than any brewery in America. And we moved to the location where we are now in 1995. Before Jeff and I ever made a barrel of beer, one of the things we did was to decide what we wanted this baby company of ours to be. And there were four things that were important to us to um, have fun, to make world-class beers, to promote beer culture and the responsible enjoyment of beer, and to be environmental stewards. At that time, it seemed kind of funny that we were um, dreaming these big dreams like uh, being sure that we were making world-class beers. But here we are today, 20 years later, almost to the day, and sure enough, uh, we make world-class beers at New Belgium. For me, intuition is something that I employ every day. I, th I think it's important to have analysis. I think it's important not to kind of um, run down the road of a story. And at the same time, when my gut says, this is what I need to be thinking about, or I am really certain that we should do this and not this, um, I tend to pay a lot of attention to that. had one piece of advice to give, I think it would certainly be that you have to love what it is that you're doing. Because especially in that startup phase where you're just getting going, you have to do this thing, whatever it is, a lot. And if you can't get up and say, I'm doing this and I can't wait because I love this, that's a problem. And there are lots of other pieces of great advice that kind of work into that, but ultimately, you're doing something that um, really defines your days and gives meaning to your life in, in some very particular and big kinds of ways. And it's really good if you feel like you're kind of on fire when you go to do it. One of the things that I have done really well over 20 years is to um, really involve my coworkers in the business of running the business. They are well informed across a broad spectrum from strategic plans through financial literacy. For me, what's next is how I gracefully transition into another role for myself and um, the, the happy circumstance that I find myself in is that I think I'll be able to do that in a way that will seem particularly natural to my coworkers because they've been a part of what's next really from the very beginning. Mm -hmm.